Hey guys, it's Benny from the Strength Factory and today I'm going to be talking to you about fear, risk and how to go about dealing with it. Whether you're just building up to your first red or black trail or whether you're looking to send like a massive set of doubles or a step down or something like that, we all have to deal with fear sometimes when we're mountain biking. And that is actually part of why we love this sport so much, is exciting and there's that element of risk. But how you deal with that fear and how some people don't deal with it really determines how much fun you have and also whether you walk away in one piece. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about fear and about risk and how I approach both of those to enjoy my riding but still get progression with my skills and the things I'm riding. My first tip then, no matter what you're looking at, is control the controllables. Okay, because there's always going to be those random things that can happen and they're the things that worry you. But if we can control all of the things that are within our control, then straight away you've got the best possible chance. So little things like, is your bike well maintained? Is it set up properly? Like, do you find that when you're riding it's well balanced and things like that? Because if it isn't, you know, maybe like the front's really fast and the rear's really slow, then you know what, it's probably not going to ride very well on jumps, for instance. So. The other controllables we can look at as well are how you are on that day. Okay, so we can do things like a warm up, okay, which sounds a bit cringy at a bike park, but honestly, if you're all stiff out of the van, then you know, after a long drive, then you could do a warm up to feel better, and you're taking one more thing out of that uncontrollable, and we're taking control of it, and now we're in a more ready state to go forward and do the riding. The other way we can control things is by taking the time to you know, really walk and understand and maybe watch some other riders doing the feature. And whilst it doesn't directly affect you, what we do know is that the trail's clear, we know it's running properly, and that it should be in a fit state for you to have a go if you feel up to it. The second tip I've got for you is about protection, okay? Things like wearing a full face helmet. And it's quite simple, I'm not saying that you must always wear a full face and body armor and all that sort of thing. What I'm saying is that you need to wear a level of protection that suits you and your appetite for risk and how you're riding, okay? So for me today at these jumps, I'm gonna wear full face helmet, seven IDP, very nice, back protector and knee pads, okay? That's me. When I go to uh, like the Alps or if I get uplift at bike parks, things like that, I'll normally wear a neck brace as well. It's just something that I like to do and it doesn't bother me at all and it's one of those things. Other people I ride with wear less protection. Maybe they don't wear a back protector, they don't, or another person might wear elbow pads and that's fine. If they're really mates, they won't care what you wear, you just do your thing, okay? They're not gonna pressure you while you're wearing a full face and they're in a trail lid or whatever. Just wear a level of protection that allows you to move freely but it gives you that bit of confidence that you've got a little bit of protection if you eat shit. My third tip for dealing with fear is to just build up gradually. So at my local jump spot here, there's a couple of big doubles and things that I've done quite a lot of times before. And yet every time I come here, I always start on the small tabletops. Every time, even if I'm feeling like really good and loose and confident and relaxed that day, it doesn't matter. I'm not straight into the big doubles, I'm always gonna build up on the tables, the smaller doubles, and then build up to those bigger doubles, okay? And that way, there's a level of progression through the day, and I can really just check in with how I'm feeling on the day, both in terms of my riding and my mindset. If you are then planning to take that next step and go and hit the big jump you've been thinking about all summer, or drop into that steep shoot or something, then you already know where you're at. You know that you're riding well. Tip four. It's a simple one, don't force it. We've all had those days where you're riding like a total spaz, okay? You know, you think you're a good rider and then you have those days where the bike doesn't wanna go around corners, you feel stiff, you're straight armed, you're, and you're just not riding well. On those days, just honestly, either walk away, come back another day, and then do the big stuff, or just take your time and let, the, let it build, okay? Let the, let the speed come, let that relaxed, flowing, riding come to you, okay? Because if you force it, it's probably gonna end in tears, okay? You're gonna end up crashing or something like that. Tied into the last point then is peer pressure, okay? Now, I want my friends who I ride with to encourage me, 
okay? If I'm up for something and I'm doubting it and they think I can do it, I want them to say, go on, Ben, you've got this, or I'll tow you in. What you don't need from your riding buddies is, oh, you're such a pussy, oh, we're all doing it, I can't believe you're not doing it, or you know, anything like that. People pressuring you to do things you're not comfortable with. That's a good rule for life in general, I must admit. Um, but it's like, I'm 42 years old, like, I'm not gonna get peer pressured by people to do a jump or a feature I don't want to do. And sometimes, I'll, on a given day, if I just don't feel like it, I might not ride a jump or a drop or, or something on a trail. Even if I've ridden it before successfully, if I'm just not feeling it that day, linking to the previous one, then I'm not gonna be pressured into doing it again. I'm happy to just say, hey, you know what, I'm not feeling it today, I'll get it next time or do it in the future. Now, most of those points have been pretty general okay now let's talk specifically you're at the top of the roll in and you're about to drop into that line of jumps or about to drop into your first black trail or something like that we want to do two things we want to rationalize and we want to visualize okay first of all if you're getting a bit stressed you know your heart rates up your breathing's a little shallow maybe and you can feel you're a bit bit nervous about the trail or whatever you're doing then let's calm it down let's do some nasal breathing Just try and get yourself really nice and relaxed before you're then dropping in. And then hopefully you're in a way better place to ride well. The other thing to do there as part of that rationalizing is I can do this, you know? I've ridden this feature that is similar or I did those jumps last week that are a pretty similar size. They're a little bit smaller, but they're pretty similar. And these jumps here are really well built. I'm seeing loads of people riding them and they're really nicely built nice mellow takeoffs they're not really bucking people i think i can do this and then that visualizing point as well is just to really sort of see yourself pumping through like riding through or dropping into that steep chute or whatever it is and see yourself riding through it and coming out the other end that is really valuable and once you can do both of those then you're ready to send it the final thing i'd say then is that at some point you just got to weigh it up do I want this enough? How am I gonna feel if I do this? Am I gonna be just so stoked if I do it? Is it worth the perceived risk in my brain? You know, if you've gone through that whole process, you're relaxed, you know you can do it, you've built up to it, you're riding well on the day, you know, you've got your full face, you're in a good crew of guys. At that point, there's nothing else to it. Do you really wanna do it? And if you really do want to do it, then most people can just get over that barrier, take a breath and just say carpe yolo and just drop in and send it, okay? Because at some point we've all got to do that. Even the pros have to do that. There's that point where they've done the practice runs, they've built up to it and just what they're doing is just a lot bigger than what we're doing, but they still have to say, right, let's do it. And that's, that's it at the end of the day. Like there's no secret at the end of it sometimes You've just got to decide that I'm willing to take this risk and I'm going to send it and usually it's fine and when you land it there's just no better feeling on the bike. So there you go, there's a little bit about my approach to risk and just how I just try to be reasonable, try to be measured and basically I'm only going to take the bigger risks for the bigger jumps when I feel ready and actually when you are ready maybe it isn't a bigger risk. It might be bigger, the jump or the feature if I'm riding well and I've built up to it, is it more risk? Or is it just a bit intimidating because I haven't done it before? I'll just add a little side note here about expectations and about the pressure maybe from Instagram and things like that. Because it feels like every time you flick on your phone, there's a 12 year old kid doing like a load of real gnarly stuff. And not just that as well, it seems like everyone is doing gnarlier stuff than me. They're doing bigger jumps, steeper stuff, riding faster, riding harder, shrouping turns. And it's a bit like, oh, feels like there's always pressure you know I've got for me I'm like sponsored I get free bikes I've got this YouTube channel I work with some pro riders oh shit maybe I should be going harder maybe I should be going bigger and sending it but there there is no pressure okay you just need to ride at your own level and then progress it over time it's literally taken me about the last five years here of like riding in the summer to progress to where I am now hitting the bigger jumps here just chipping away bit by bit going harder, going bigger when I feel ready, okay? 
I'm not rushing the process and touch wood. I'm in one piece, at least for now.